Hello lovelies, this is the Danish Knot. It works really well for borders, for filler stitches and even for flowers. We're going to bring our needle up through the fabric and we're going to make a diagonal stitch from top left to bottom right. And then we're going to bring our needle back up through the fabric at the bottom left position. Take your needle through the fabric Take it across, hold that thread out of the way by holding it downwards, it really helps. Pass your needle underneath the diagonal stitch at the top from right to left and pull gently through, not too hard, you don't want to distort the stitch. So remember, take your thread down and out of the way and take your needle back through and we're going to slide it under the diagonal stitch one more time but at the bottom of the diagonal stitch from right to left, pull through gently, and then we're going to take our needle through the fabric at the bottom left position. I'm going to do this again for you in slow motion. I will probably say the exact same things I've just said already. We're going to bring our needle up through the fabric. We're going to make a diagonal stitch, top left to bottom right. We're going to bring our needle back up through the fabric at the bottom left position, directly underneath where we first came up through the fabric. We're not going to go through the fabric at any other point with this stitch until the end. So as I said, bring your needle up through the fabric at the bottom left position. And we're going to slide our needle underneath the diagonal stitch from right to left at the top the first time. Remember to hold your thread out of the way. There we go slide it through gently. Don't pull too hard, you could end up with a much more squeezed version of this stitch. Take your needle across, hold your thread down, pass your needle underneath the diagonal stitch, right to left on the bottom. Go over that thread, from right to left pull your needle gently through. And then we're going to put our needle down through the fabric at the bottom left position. You can make these a little bit more elongated if you like. Beautiful stitch, very easy to do once you get the hang of it. So this, my lovelies, is your Danish knot. Happy stitching.